what's up guys um yo today we don't really know what we're doing we're not really feeling it today so we thought it'd be a good opportunity to share that kind of that um, day yeah that one well, it's one of those days so, so <laughs> <laughs> hello doris says hi everybody um well i, I kind of figured we're, we're both feeling kind of uh Know, depleted tired just kind of not into it and it's nothing new I, I, everybody that works out kind of goes through this sort of thing um, and I we kind of looked at it as an opportunity to talk about it and show some of our strategies to deal with it um, and I'd say first and foremost uh, motivation only takes you so far in anything and if you're goal oriented, you need discipline. I think that's more important than really anything else. Cause sometimes no matter how fun you make the workout, you just don't want to work out, but you recognize it as something that's good for you. So you do it, it's, you know, it's like eating your vegetables. Um, so. Yeah, like right now I'm doing one of my favorite programs and I'm just, I think my mindset elsewhere is leaking into my mindset in the gym. So it's having like a, negative effect on my performance and my motivation and stuff right now. And uh, usually, I, as far as mindset goes, kind of what's going through my head when I get like this is, um, I get really focused and I, I kind of just, I, I kind of have like this mantra that goes through my head and it's kind of like, all right, you know, I'm in a fight right now. Um, it's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be a pushover. Like, uh, probably most of my sets are gonna suck today and they're gonna feel like it. Um, but that, that's what a lot of working out is. You know, it's, it's 80, 90% of your workouts are just, meh, I'm putting in the work. And, you know, and then maybe 10 to 15% of those really, really, really good days where everything's just awesome. And uh, so usually when I'm like this, I, uh, I, I, I like to just go down there and, and, and I, I know you've heard me say it before. It's like, just warm up. Just go down there and do your warm up get stretched out and do some skill work and see how you feel. And, and a lot of times it's like, once you get down here and you get some blood flowing, your joints stop hurting, it's kind of like, oh, okay, cool. You know, then, then they're like, let's just do the first set. And then you knock that out. And then before you know it, you're committed to it. And I mean, it, it might not be fun or it might not be, you know, really high energy, but you, you, you push through it and you get it done. Um, I know there's been multiple times in the past when I haven't been feeling it, but you have, and you said exactly that to me, where it's just, okay, let's just go downstairs and stretch, let's go warm up, and then after I do that, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can push through it, I start doing my first set, exactly like he said, and all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I got this. You know, and, uh, and as you're pushing through it, you know, if you really still feel like quitting, but you're really driven, like say, say like we have a tournament coming up or something like that, and you, and you really, you need to work. You don't have like the luxury of just chilling. So like, yeah, whatever, like go play some Mass Effect or something. Uh, I, I always like this, uh, something I picked up when I was in the service. Um, and I, I had a friend of mine who went to selection uh, for special forces. It's really physically grueling type stuff. And he said the one thing he did was whenever he, he felt like quitting during an event, like whenever he was just like, I'm done, I'm fed up, he would say, okay, I'll quit after the next one. You know, I'll quit when this one's done, you know? And, and a lot of times when you're going through a tough set, like it's way tougher during the set, but then in retrospect, it's like, okay, that, that wasn't so bad. Like, let's, 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 we'll quit tomorrow, you know? And, and the idea is kind of like, keep kind of talking yourself into that. And like, a lot of times I feel like if I give myself that, that, that out, I'm less likely to take it. That makes like any sense. like mind trick yourself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like Jedi mind trick. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, well I'll quit after this, this exercise, you know, so it's like, it's only 10 minutes, man. Just quit then. And then you get 10 minutes and you're like, all right, let's do another 10 minutes, you know, and see how I feel. Some people like sheer force of will, they can just, they can invoke their will and, and, and make shit happen. Um, and for me, like nine times out of 10, that's, that's kind of how I do it. I just, I just suck it up. I, some people, you know, you kind of talk yourself into it a little bit more. It's I not, do. your approach maybe is a little bit more nuanced as opposed to blunt force trauma. Yeah. It's, it's like, I can just beat myself into submission where you kind of have to, it's, it's a different touch. Yeah. But would you say that the results the same? Like yeah. you finish your workout and you, and, and you feel somewhat accomplished. Yeah. Or at least, 
or maybe you you have something to work on it's not it's not easy for me to mentally motivate myself it's like i can say like let's just get down there and let's just do it you need to do this like for me that just doesn't work what's well, I, I think it's easy to let little discomforts get to you i think it's really i mean and not just you i mean in general like i yeah. i woke up this morning um a little groggy you know like I, it's kind of like we all have those days where you're just like you're not you're not fully awake yet and, and maybe man maybe the coffee tasted a little too good and, and maybe the, the blankets were a little bit too warm the couch you know too the soft. couch was too soft <laughs> you know and it's like fuck you know my my knees hurt cuddles you know you know cuddling was too good um you know it, it's like it's all that little shit and it's i think for me it, I, I don't want people to think that like like I, I, I'm a, I'm a very disciplined person, and I don't want people to think that it's like, to a fault. Th yeah, sometimes overly so. Um, we'll get into that more when it comes to diet, yeah. and and actually learning to recover and take time off. Um, and, and and I'm dime a dozen. There's a lot of people out there who are overly disciplined who don't know when to take it easy, you know. And there's people who take it too easy, and and, and you know they're they're too soft, and they need to they need to harden the fuck up a little bit. Oh, I wouldn't say you're too soft. I think I was before I met you. I think he hardened me up a little bit. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think a lot of people think that, that people who are fit or exercise a lot um, are like always like 100. Like they're, they're, they, they wake up, they piss excellence, and it's just like, I'm gonna, you know, conquer everything. And it's like, that's, I don't think that's the case. I, I think that's, that, that, that's probably the exception. You know, there's, there Maybe are. Maybe that's what they show you. Yeah, like that's what you but see. But this is not really what's happening every day. There's no, I don't believe it. You know, I think, um, I think Dave Tate put it really good. He says, you know, there's two speeds. There's blast and then there's dust. You know, and, 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 and sometimes you just you go out there and you, and you do your thing. And then other times, like, man, you're, you're like dust and you just want to crumble. But you still do the work. And sometimes those, those little dust phases, they last for a while and you can sit here and you can look at, well, maybe it was my sleep or maybe it was my nutrition or maybe it was this, or, you know, maybe my shoes were too tight or, you know, like the sun was bright or I got sweat in my eye and like all, you can make all these excuses, but when push comes to shove, it's just go out there and do one more rep. I think that's my biggest struggle. I'm just like, but I'm not siren. feeling it like today Yeah. or like many days in the past. I just, I tell myself that, you know what, maybe I'll feel better today if I just, take a rest day. I mean, there, there are also days like, I mean, you're, you're, you got a sinus infection right now. I mean, you're kind of like what, two days out from yeah. that feeling a little bit better. So, I mean, there's definitely times where it's just like, no man, like today is not the day. Um, but I think more often than not, your body's lying to you. I, I think yeah. people say, listen to your body and like, and your body's like, eh. but it all ties together. Like there, there's no difference between sticking to your diet, you know, and coming down here and training. Yeah. Like, there, there's no difference between that. Um, like discipline is discipline, period. It's the, it's the ability to do something you don't want to do. It's it's repeated efforts. It's not like. It's 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 not. It's not like you just wake up and you're there. Mm -mm. You know. Or um, do it one day and be like, yeah, I got this. But tomorrow you fall off the wagon. Like it's yeah, not gonna it's, work. You know, Gotta do it every day. So you just have to like trust the process and enjoy what you're doing. I relish the discipline of it. It makes me feel good about myself. But at it's the end of the day, it's like. Though. Yeah. Like, if you're trying to feel healthy and feel good about yourself, then, yeah. you know, and I, I mean, it's not all externally driven. It's just sitting here saying like, well, I can do this and so can you. Well, then there's also those people that say, God, I wish I could look like you. Like you can. If I, if I had your schedule, I would look like you. Yeah. Right? Oh my God, is, I hate uh, that one. If I had all the time in the world, you know, I'd be able to move like you do or fight. Like, and, and Which is complete bullshit because we haven't had a day off in... Oh, we're on a... This is going to be our third, 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 third week. Third week, probably. Yeah, yeah, without any downtime. Without any downtime at all. We are moving all day long and we fit this in. We, we fit will. our diet in. Because yeah. it's important to us. If you, If it is important to you, you will make it work. You will fit it into your schedule. Bottom line, period. If you're ever not familiar with Jim Wendler, powerlifting dude, uh, kind of the founder of the 531 system, awesome stuff. Um, but he has like a really uh, straightforward way of talking. He says, there's a quote from him that says, you know, someone walks up to him and they go, if I had your life 
I would be just as strong as you. And Jim Wendler said, it's like, no, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't be as strong as me. You'd be at home watching TV, eating potato chips. Um, because the, the, if something's important to you, you, you find a way to make it happen. And if something's not important to you, you find an excuse not to do it. And that's the way it is. It doesn't have anything to do with time or effort. Like, how many times have, have, have I mean, our work schedule changes constantly. And it's like, there were, there were strings of months where I'd have to be at the shop at six or 7 a.m. And it's like, I gotta train today. I'm up at four. I'm not gonna make any excuses. It sucks ass waking up before the birds and the sun and you're out there and you're, you're doing push-ups and climbing ropes. And it's, it's not fun. But I think at taken as a whole, it's very rewarding. The more you do it, the easier it gets. I promise you that. Like, I, I will promise you that. Like, man, I, I'm sure some of you have done like a, a workout program and gotten out of it and let yourself kind of get out of shape and you try to get back into it. Dude, getting back into it is so much harder. That's why I don't stop. Like, it's such a huge incentive. Like, you let yourself go and you're like, holy shit. Like, this is what it was like. Like, once you start, man, you gotta be a terminator. Like, never, ever stop. We, like, don't set like, such a high standard for that. You know? Yeah, don't expect uh, so much out of yourself. Yeah, and it's, like, I think I talked about it in my last video where it's like, I'm not trying to break my all-time record every time I walk into the gym. I'm trying to put 100% in of my ability that day. Um, you got five push-ups in you and that's it. Go downstairs and do five push-ups. You know, and, and if you hit, if you, if your goal is to hit muscle failure and five, you know, whatever, like, you know, to, to train that, then you train to that point. And if it happens in five, it happens in five. Maybe you get five in, you're like, holy shit, I feel great. I Where'd that more. come from? And you do five more and you do more and then you do more. Before you know it, you've had an outstanding workout. I've had days where I felt like shit and had some of the best workouts I ever had. Yeah. So, um, discipline trumps motivation. Uh, First and foremost, so you gotta be, you gotta be tough. Yeah. Um, Even though we're feeling like shit, we are still down in the basement, as you can see. Yeah, I got rings today, so it's gonna suck. I'm lifting. But we're gonna, we're gonna get it done. Uh, two, um, find a way to win. I would say, like, if 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 you have an impossible goal that day, then change the goal that's something reachable, but still gonna challenge you. Find a way to win. You know, change the game. Um, Three. Do what makes you feel good yeah i know we're saying a lot like even if you're not feeling like it go downstairs and do it or wherever if you're really not feeling like it and you think it'll be better to take a mental rest day i'm not i'm not saying don't do that because that might be the right answer for you as well but what we're trying to say is push yourself it's it's better to like go down there, do the warm up, and then decide that it's not in you that day yeah. than to not even put your shoes on. I'm not trying to encourage anybody to train through an injury. That's fucking stupid. Don't do that. But you can train around injuries. Yeah. If you if you only trained when you felt 100% good, you would never train. I'm yeah. always hurt. She's always, always hurt. There's something always achy. I'm always in a mood. Like I, I. I you know, if, if my mind's not there, my body's jacked up. If my body's not, body's there, my brain's just kind of like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. But that's why I say, like, go down there and just do the warm-up. Um, anyway, we're, wow. We got off on a tangent. We should just do podcasts. I think so. If you'd rather hear us do podcasts, comment in the section below. Well, should we, did we finish our sum up? I don't know. Discipline trumps motivation. Find a way to win. Do what makes you feel good. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Stay fierce. Peace. Hey, oh. Uh, we just finished. And, uh, how are you feeling? I'm tired. Tired? Oh, me too. I kind of, uh, I found my wind and, uh, kind of got, got going on my workout. Um, ended up actually having a pretty decent one. Uh, didn't hit, break any records today or anything like that. Um, but I feel good. And I feel accomplished. I feel like I kind of uh, did what I needed to do. So I'm ready to pack it in. Um, yeah, I kind of just pushed through. So. I wasn't really feeling it still, but I completed my workout, so that's cool. Except for my last two ab sets, I stopped because my back hurts. So. But. Uh, 
shit to talk about. Um, I'm about to hit a nice little heel hook here. Pinch at the toe, get it underneath there. Ooh, this would be a good one too. See, I don't want to get out of it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Okay, so what do we gotta do? We got dogs to walk, we got food to buy, showers to take. I'm tired. I'm ready for some fucking fried chicken. Freaking baby. fucking French toast. <laughs> okay, anyway, we are signing off. Peace. Stay fierce. Yeah, do that. <laughs>